Welcome back. Today, so that we can better understand the star maps of Gwyneth, we're going to ask, what is the ecliptic? Why is the ecliptic important? And how is the ecliptic represented on the star maps of Gwyneth? So here is an image that I made um, for my book, The Origin of the Zodiac. And what we have here is us, Earth. We are looking, we are the observer, we're looking out from Earth towards the sun. And we see the sun prescribe a path against the backdrop of the heavens called the ecliptic. And over the course of the year, it moves around the ecliptic. Now we know that we go around the sun, but the apparent motion, what it looks like from Earth, is that the sun is going around the ecliptic against the backdrop of the stars. Similarly, since all the planets are rotating around the sun in the same plane, the planets, as observed from Earth, will prescribe a course against the backdrop of the stars that are not moving and that course is the ecliptic. So here we can see the Earth, there is Saturn. As we move between Saturn and the Sun, our orbit is one year, Saturn's orbit is 21 years, so we will pass in between here. Saturn will appear from the observer on Earth to slow down, start going backwards, and then as we get round the other side, it will slow down again and then start going forwards. This is an image from Wikipedia of the Earth and we know that we are tilted with respect to the Sun by 23 and a half degrees. So that is pointing to the North Celestial Pole, which is Polaris. That is the Celestial Equator. And this is the ecliptic, this is the path that the sun takes against the backdrop of the stars and we are rotated from at 23 and a half degrees to that apparent progress of the sun. So you can see here that if that is a tilt away from the sun, then that will be winter, we're getting less sun, sunlight. And when it comes around the other side, we'll be tilted towards the sun and we're getting more sunlight, that will be summer. And this schematic here shows all the constellations at a glance. This is the celestial equator at zero, and this is the path of the sun, the apparent path of the sun against the backdrop of these constellations, and that is the ecliptic. And these are the 12 constellations of the zodiac. And the ancient people would be able to understand at what point of the year they were by identifying what constellation the sun was in and they would be able to repeat that year after year. So here is the star maps of Gwyneth. You can see the ecliptic here is shown in orange. We will look at that in a little bit more detail in a while. But we will go on to ask why is the ecliptic important? So in ancient times, they didn't have clocks. They didn't have communications devices like we have today. And they needed to be able to have the same sort of certainty we have today in determining what the time was and what the date was. So this image here from the cover of my book is a stone circle called Kerig Arthur in the constellation of Draco. And on the equinox the sun rises out of the horizon in the middle of this niche twice a year the spring and the autumn equinox so an observer would be able to tell with some degree of accuracy when the equinox was each year here we go back to this diagram you can see here that during the summer at the solstice or in the winter at the solstice 
the actual change in the day length is not very great. There is probably a, a week either side where of the solstice where the day length is quite similar. So it's quite hard to determine the actual date of the solstice. However, at the equinox, the day length is changing very rapidly as we move through the equinox and therefore it is very accurate in relation to the solstice or any other point in the year to be able to tell when the equinox is and obviously at the equinox you have an equal day and night so you can tell very accurately what time of year it is Here are the star maps of Gwyneth again. I've just put on the 12 constellations of the zodiac and the pole star and the two um, great bear and the little bear constellations in the middle. Now we expect the constellations of the zodiac to be on the ecliptic. So let's put the ecliptic on. There it is. And on the star maps of Gwyneth, the ecliptic are the major rivers and the coast. So we can see here the Afon Dubi. This is the southern part of the ecliptic and all the constellations are on it. And here is the coast. So this represents a very clear line on the ground being the rivers that the constellations can be uh, related to. Thank you for listening and I hope that explains why the ecliptic is important and how it is represented on the star maps of Gwyneth.